I'll throw this up there. It's raw. But anyways, it, I'm not gonna show you the rest of the sky. It's just solid blue. There's nothing to show. Except for a blaring sun. It's about 80 degrees, 82 degrees, Central California. Mark Perry's. I'm listening to an update on um, some prophetic word about a giant earthquake in California. And I'm praying like there's not. Okay, so you guys can pray with me. This is kind of an update to pray with me. So watching and praying. I have no money to run. It would take me two hours to get out of the country, out of the California area. So if there's an earthquake, guys, I love you. It's been real. And I still take donations if you ever decide to give me one. Because you never know, I might be trying to get gas and not have much money, you know. 
So if you pay it to me, I'll have money for gas, okay? Anyways, not here to beg for money, but could come in handy. All just saying, you know. So, the unusual clouds kind of sitting there. I think he's just watching me. Kind of has a nice little shape to it in the dark side of it and in the middle of it. It could be a hologram, guys. You know, you know who knows nowadays, huh, Doug? But it's just sitting there. And uh, I ran around for five minutes looking for my phone. And here it is, still sitting there watching me. I think the one on top might be an incoming like asteroid, so it's kind of watching. If they know there's an earthquake, you know, they would probably know it, right? They would look at all the sensors all together. Who knows what kind of technology, right? I trust nothing I see this guy now. Not paranoid, just re realistic. After I seen that gold ring in the sky, not much left to think about. Something going on. Way bigger than me and you guys. Right, Don? Bigger than me. I can make it about maybe three months on food if I really stretch it. But no matter what happens, be encouraged, Jesus is with you. That cloud is stranger. Now, the UFO comes out of that cloud. I didn't plan this. I didn't Photoshop it because I don't have Photoshop. Actually, I just did a, an art course with uh, Michael Sheenbloom, or Sheenwalk, who was a famous uh, photographer. And uh, he was talking my language about the passion of photography. So I guess I'm a photographer, but by way of cam and by way of something. Isn't that amazing? I'm waiting for something to come out of it, right? Like, ah, I'm pushing live. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just ranting because it's, uh, you know, I'm seeing so much stuff in the skies. I've, uh, my Facebook has come alive. Like, um, all I can say is that people are waking up and I'm getting anywhere from 25 to 100 people a day following my site. Um, I think I'm close to 5,000. People are interested. They're waking up, folks. They're waking up. So every time you guys share something like this strange, I mean, this ain't like, okay, you say this ain't Planet X, but I'm going to say, because my theme is Planet X, looking for Planet X. Well, this is something, and it's very strange. It actually goes across to the left there um, and goes down. Pretty amazing. So, Bible, thank you for all your leads. Um, Douglas, thank you for all your pictures. I never hear from you guys again. The big earthquake does come today, like Perry Stone, you know, she's prophesying. Um, then I'll see you guys on the other side. If the earth opens up and swallows me, I'm supposed to go. Okay, so no fear. God loves me. God loves you. Look at the bottom of that thing. What? Something's coming down. Something's coming out, looks like. Anyways, you know, it's just a cloud, right? And a solid blue sky. Not one other cloud. Now, to the left, the clouds are starting to come out of nowhere. Just... The whole sky is just like becoming cloudy within seconds. I'll turn to it in a minute. It's like, I actually think personally it's like the whole system coming into view. This might be some lead object or something. I don't know. So we've been getting these 85 degree days with about 40 mile an hour wind, 30 mile an hour winds, which is, the winds could be normal for this area, but the 85, 84, 83 degree days are kind of strange to me because usually it's raining right now and it's, you know, it's cold, um, at least until the middle of February, end of February, then it gets like this a little bit. So this is kind of early and then, you know, Douglas was telling me like this vortex was coming down and I've been watching this cold front um, so if I guys, if I show you sunny skies with weird stuff like that, don't get offended, all right? Because some of you guys haven't seen the sun in weeks. No lie. This thing turns into an eagle with wings. Woo! Could be an angel, guys. But it's real time, right? And there's no fish in. No fish. No fish eye on this one. I could put a fish eye on it, though. I might. I gotta make room to move this camera because it's so good.
shelter here, this is like, I got three walls on me and there's a total opening. And this is what I look at when I drink coffee in the morning, I look at the sky. Oh, I see UFOs. I don't think they deserve anything anymore. It's just, it's too much of it. So something like this is pretty unique. It's kind of, looks like it's grown a tail or something. as close as I can get to it with the, with the lens I have on. I don't have a lens on. Just with my regular phone. I might put a lens on to get it up closer or put a panoramic, but panoramic will push it back. I want to be up close to look at that, you know. I don't think I'm going to filter it to my computer. I think I'm just going to put it up live. See how I'm talking? Three cups of coffee. So you guys, you know, it's like, this is all I do. I don't have a lot of friends. Um, all my friends are staying inside. I'm staying inside. I have no need to go out anyway. It's just I'm on good food or something. But there's not much you could do here but film, you know, freaky UFO looking stuff like that. Um, if it comes and parks over my house, you guys start praying for me, all right? It's coming towards me. The one on the right definitely looks like a saucer. The one on the left is starting to look like a saucer, but you know, cloaking devices are pretty good, I've decided, um, after my watch in the skies. I'm doing a chemtrail right underneath it. That's a good indication that it's something important. Now, if they're doing this to give me a show, it might be really good, guys, so hang on. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> hang on. I'm gonna try to find a better location to film this. I don't know. Might have the best one. Hey, that jet's checking it out. That's a contrail, it's just evaporating as fast as he's laying it. But I think he's, he's up there scouting it out. So I just did an hour long uh, art course with this guy.
free. And it's just, he's talking about the passion and catching the composition. This is the composition this morning. Two Trees of Life. See for an all channel looking at some strange UFO cloud. That's my composition, UFO clouds. And they are starting to form like saucers. You know, I might have to put a little music on this, guys. That thing is huge, huge. On my camera, I'm going to go justice. Wow, it's huge. See, I was just sitting there. That's what makes it strange. It's been there for like, I think, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Came out of nowhere. My wife's like, look at that little cloud. I'm going to go tell her to come look at these two UFOs. Hang on. say that but now she watches too as much as she says she don't she does so yeah all my birds are gone too it's winter time i have hardly no birds just a few scroungies i try to move my camera again You can walk past the camera. Alive. Don't matter. See that thing? It's parked there, man, for like 30 minutes, 20 minutes, something like that. Ain't that wild looking? Yeah. It doesn't look saucery on the right. It looks solid. I know something's in there. <sighs> Anyways, makes for a good show, right, guys? If you don't got imagination, you you probably don't belong on my channel. <laughs> my son laughs when I say stuff like that. It's like, it's true though, but you know, these last day skies are nothing to play around with. You better know what you're looking at. See, most people wouldn't have noticed that, never mind filming. Now, you tell me that thing ain't parked right there, folks. You've been here long enough now? How long? Let me see. Get my glasses. 14 minutes. Now, has that thing moved that much? No. It's actually getting bigger towards us. There's nothing else in the sky. Maybe that's my 747 angel. I'm just playing, you know. Come on, guys. The stuff I do, I got to relax, you know. I got to I gotta take it light, you know, like a grain of salt, you know. It's happening so much that, I'm, you know, I kind of joke it off. But that's a nervous joking, okay? Okay, okay. Jesus is coming back. I'm not I'm not sweating it. And, and it's hard to listen to an earthquake report from Perry Stone. Um, it's directly from God right now. So I asked the Lord, what do we do next? He said, wait on me. So when he says that, I know he's solid. Wait on me means I got you. So a lot of you guys wait on Jesus because he's got you. Man, that thing's crazy looking. Well, comment what you think it is. Or if I lost my mind, donate some money so I can go see a doctor. <laughs> I could also pay my rent, you know. 
communist California, man. It's it's like a high taxes. Gas is three fifty a gallon, and we're suspecting maybe with the you know um, Trader Joe's administration, um, we're looking at six bucks a gallon, maybe. You guys like Trader Joe's? I like Trader Joe's. I love Trader Joe's. But the new Trader Joe's I don't like. Anyway, talking about Trader Joe's. That's right. <laughs> But Trader Joe's got some good dips. Oh my God. Artichoke and garlic something. My wife buys it. You could, you could die for it, you know. Trader Joe's is good. Expensive. Way expensive. But, you know, when I go to the food bank, because I do, and I'm not proud of it, but I'm not ashamed of it. But when I go, they give you a lot of Trader Joe's stuff. Just so you know. High dollar. High dollar. Stuff I wouldn't even buy, folks. Good stuff, though. Culture. So, it's that fake culture. Ah, you know, I'm not a vegan. I don't want to be one. A lot of vegans I know are very sick people all the time. They maybe have to be vegans. I don't know. Vegans, vegans. Got me. I just eat until I'm full and I eat balanced. You know, I don't do the, uh, the food groups, but number one food group is bacon. Mm -hmm. Bacon. Anyways, folks, I'm just ranting, sitting here drinking coffee, watching the strange cloud, just sitting in my sky, and I'm going to keep filming it. I can film up to like three hours, I think, unless the battery dies, but I'm going to film it and see how long it stays here. I think it's going to stay here for a while. Um, it's incoming something. I think some spaceships might come out of it, or some orbs. So keep watching, and if it does, I will put this thing on a filter, bring it in, close, crop it, you know, I'm going to all of Looks like a giant angel forming, but what do I know? Look at the shadows on that thing. My dog just ran out there to look up. Come on, Pierce, what's up? Douglas, you see this? Sarah, are you awake? I see stuff like this all the time, but nothing this distinct for this long. It's just like incredible. What could it be? Another dimension opening up? A wormhole? Could it be angelic? Could it be the kingdom of God? Could it be the cloud that Jesus comes down on? Folks, folks, folks! I told you. I'm gonna film it and put it up and go with Jesus. Now the, the right side looking like a wing. I swear to you, looks like an eagle, folks. I don't swear to you. I'm telling you. From my view, that is an eagle coming in. Anyway, something to rant about, right? So this is how I am in the morning, jacked up on coffee with my poor wife. Now, notice the object on top is starting to get ripples, like it's turning round, right? And it, I've seen this before, like the lead object will come in. Um, the bottom thing could be the the beginning of a snail cloud, but I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's an eagle. Looks like the head's starting to come forward out of it. Strange. Look on the right side of the wing, there's a white bike. Toward the bottom on the right side where the wing is starting to get dark, you'll see a real light area, almost like a streaky area. I'm not going to point at it, but it's kind of moving. It would be great to see this thing through different filters. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. What's that song? Like, you know, military song on this one, right? Like, you know, 747s flying over with some F-15s. How about the Blue Angels flying through this? This is C's ranting show. Coffee time. No, uh, I'm not crazy, folks. I'm just enjoying my day.
So as you know, disabled. Disabled, no money, and lockdown. I'm having fun. You guys are having fun with my new hobby. Four year old hobby, sky watching, better than fishing for bass. I'm telling you it is. When I see big UFOs, like, it's just breathtaking. Some strange stuff going on. You ask Gina Hill, Colvin Hill, Gina Hill, she's seeing some strange stuff. Her sight's blowing up. They don't got the uh, shadow ban on her. I think because I got the sky pictures and Jesus, they're kind of banning me because I might go nuts. See, now, if I advertise 30 bucks on this video, live video, see them trees blowing? This is real deal. Father Phil, real deal. Check it out. Sitting in front of my house. Now, if I started speaking Psalm 91, just saying it, it will move. I can show you. But I'm going to let, let the video play for a minute. Let's see what happens with this evil. Dun, 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 dun. See, the one on the right is kind of layered by eye. And it kind of goes up like a concave saucer. So, you know, it makes me suspicious, right? But, and I've never believed in UFOs until the last three years. It took me a year to find one. And one I found was like the sky ripped open. It was so big. And um, I have to find that video. I don't put it up. That was one of my worst videos I ever did, though. But it was like a great catch. I think that's a sign right there. You know, clouds don't stay in one spot for like an hour, 30 minutes, you know? What if, I mean, bro, just don't do this. This is California, the sky's blue, the sky's cloudy. You think that's my ticket out of here, don't you? Uh-huh. That's what you would think up here. This is like Chris's ship coming to get him. I never thought I was human anyway, so it don't matter. I've always never fit into the human race thing. Been on the outskirts watching in, saying these people are crazy. You know, um, I've never was of this earth. I'm a peculiar person. I'm a treasure in God's hand. I'm an arrow in his 
bow. But that could be my special ship out of here because I did so much work for free. <laughs> Passion replaces the free of it, you know. Um, you know, steak or two a month would be great. Protein needed. Mm -hmm. Chicken, right? All right, folks. You tell me. It's been like a half hour, whatever. I don't know. I'm waiting for ships to come out of it. Thank <laughs> you.